So if you're thinking or planning to come to South Korea to teach English, I'm sure you've already seen many videos online about the experience and what it's like. I'm here to show you some of my experience of what it's like to live in a rural part of South Korea teaching at a middle school. Since I have to be at the school at 8.30 in the morning, Monday through Friday, and I live about a 30 minute walk from the school, I ride my bike. There's usually a lot of traffic in the morning, so I usually ride my bike through the lake park and it takes me just 10 minutes. The first thing I do when I get to the school is just say good morning or hello to any of the students that I see. First thing I do when I get to school is say hello or good morning to students or other teachers. In Korean homes and schools, when you enter, you take off your dirty shoes and put on slippers. Here is the time schedule for the day. All classes are 40 minutes long and there are four classes in the morning and a 10 minute break in between each class. Lunchtime is an hour long at 12.20, so students are able to talk with their friends and play outside. And sometimes you'll see students talking or hanging out with other friends in the classroom. There are three classes in the afternoon. So before school ends, it is actually cleaning time for the students to sweep or mop the classrooms, the bathrooms, and the offices. And then there is an after school class a few times a week. Also, when students get to the school, they have to hand in their cell phones to their homeroom teacher. This is my schedule for the whole semester. I teach all first grade and second grade students every other week, and I teach third grade students every week. I have six or seven Korean co-teachers, so the orange box means that I teach that class with my co-teacher. So here is the English classroom. We have about 30 desks in here and only first grade comes in here sometimes because there are about 500 students at my school. So it is just easier for me to go around to each of the classrooms for first, second, and third grade. The technology and equipment at my school is very good. The computers are with this type of touch screen that you move this over and this screen folds up and there is a sound system and a normal computer there. In the English classroom, we have the Xbox type of camera that works with a smart board. For classroom management and getting my students to participate in class, we have a stamp sheet system for the semester. When students read, speak, or win English games, then I give them a stamp and it works really well in my school. One of my biggest concerns of coming to South Korea to teach English was will my students have textbooks? These are the textbooks that my students use and I think they're pretty good. Usually the first 20-30 minutes of class we will do the first listen and speak of the book where they have to tell me what they already know and learn a new phrase. Then it's listen to the computer dialogues and then talk with a partner and then we'll play a review game or learn more examples of that dialogue or grammar that they just learned. My main goal with the textbook is to make the students express their thoughts and talk more English because the Korean teacher later on in next week class will teach them more of the grammar side. So my job is definitely to make them converse together. These are some of the projects done by my first graders and some photos of a Halloween culture party and a field trip with my second graders. As you saw my schedule, I teach about three to six classes per day, so I have a lot of free time to walk around the school or study Korean. So if it's noon and I'm not teaching a class, I can go right to eat lunch with the other coworkers. For lunchtime, we have an hour to eat. We always eat rice with soup, kimchi, and some other healthy food. Then we like to walk outside and see all the students talking or playing and hanging out with each other during their rest time. I know some teachers who do teach at two or maybe three other schools. They call them the travel schools because they go there on maybe one or two days of the week. After lunch, I usually go back to my office and get organized for the rest of the day or for the rest of the week.
It is 4.30, so I am able to go home and I'm going to just ride my bike and maybe I'll go find a cafe and sit and study some Korean or just relax a little bit. The last part of this video is going to be answering a Q&A that I asked on my Instagram. I asked my Instagram followers if they have any questions about teaching at a middle school in South Korea. And the first question I got is, do you have any favorite students? And my answer is, I don't have any favorite students, but I do remember and recognize the students who will greet me in the hallway or the neighborhood or um, anytime they see me, they'll be very happy and energetic and practice their English with me. When they participate a lot or practice speaking English and they're not too shy, those are like my favorite students. The students always ask me, who is my favorite class? This one or that one? Or they'll ask me like, who is my favorite grade, first, second, or third grade? And secretly it is third graders because they are just the most mature and they participate the most in class. And whenever I ask them, do I have any volunteers to read? All of them like shoot up their hands because they want a stamp. The second question I got is, what is your funniest memory? Students in third grade were learning about asking or giving advice and the review game was students have, have to work in teams of four students and they have to run up to the whiteboard and write um, what should you do this weekend? What should you do in the morning? One boy wrote, you should poop and brush your teeth. And I just remember like laughing that he even thought of that. Also the same student later on wrote, in Seoul you should go to clubs and buy clothing. So I just thought it was funny that he even thought of go to clubs in Seoul and that he thought it was okay to write that in class. The last question I got is, are the kids nice to you? And the answer is yes. My students are so, so kind to me. They're always smiling and giving me compliments and participating in class or saying hello in the hallway. Pretty much everybody at my school is very nice to me and always saying hello or bowing. And my co-teachers are very good at communicating with me about schedule changes or if we have a surprise quashik like a co-worker gathering after work. So my co-workers are very good and very kind to me and I'm really thankful for that. If you found this video interesting or helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to leave a comment below on what more content you would like to see from my middle school or life in South Korea. Thanks for watching, bye.